safety. That means people are getting jobs. <laughs> yes, sir. Today also we have conducted one training program for employment officers. Uh, so uh, continuously we are organizing these training programs and uh, also attended one training program of Vivigiri Institute, Vivigiri National Labor Institute. So uh, because of pre-occupied uh, programs. So actually our madam uh, said she will take the session because of uh, some uh, I mean, problems. Right. right. Okay. Over. Ashay, they're going live. Facebook. Yes. yes, correct. We are live. Okay. Over to you, Punish. Okay. So, can we start, sir? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, so, a warm welcome to everyone uh, for our uh, fifth uh, series webinar series with the title Participative College Placement Drive, uh, wherein we are trying to reimagine the ongoing college placement process. Uh, we started uh, five weeks back, and uh, this is our fifth webinar in the series. And uh, we have been receiving very overwhelming response, which is encouraging us to do this webinar every Friday, 5 to 6 p.m., again and, and again and again. For everyone, introduction, you know, uh, who are coming for the first time, you know, I would like to give a small introduction of myself. My name is Munish Chavla. I'm the co-founder of a platform, Jivitam which is a livelihood platform, which is helping students in this crisis find livelihood, which is work, jobs, entrepreneurship opportunities. We, that's what we try to do. Uh, this pandemic, ongoing pandemic, is causing a lot of stress to the students, you know, uh, because many college students, final year exams have not yet taken place. Uh, the college placement, which in few colleges, which used to happen, is also not happening because uh, colleges are closed, corporates are not traveling, and the students are home. So there is a lot of challenges with the students are facing. And keeping in view about these challenges, we thought of doing this webinar, wherein we help students find work opportunities. That's the whole objective of this webinar. Help students in every nook and corner of the country find work. You know, when I say work, I mean jobs, and entrepreneurship opportunities both, which is starting your own, starting your own startup, anything which is there. Now, there are basically, when we are doing, we're also parallelly trying to do, reimagine it. And, you know, we are happy to share in today's, uh, our webinar, 50, more than 50% of the students are coming from tier two and tier three cities. I think that's where the challenges have been and that's where the opportunity lies. This crisis is opening up vistas of opportunities for all the students who are in tier two, tier three cities. Earlier, the tier one city students had an advantage over tier two, tier three cities. The migration used to happen. A lot of things used to take place. But because of this crisis, where work from home is one of the norms right now, there are definitely a lot of opportunities which are opening for the students over there. Today, in our webinar, we have got esteemed panelists. You know, We have the Dean of Hamdad, uh, Jamia Hamdad with us. We have always, as always, Mr. Ashok Kumar from National Career Services with us, and uh, and Gitanjali there. You know, she is uh, running a, a a company wherein she is sending students overseas. So uh, KG sir will give a more detail about it. But we have really esteemed panelists, and today our single-minded objective, like all our webinars, will be what are the work opportunities available for students and what they need to do. As I said, we are also trying to reimagine the whole existing college placement process. So we are asking you students the questions as to, you know, why, you know, first year, second year, third year students should also not participate in this college placement drive. Why in the colleges where the campus placement, which has never taken place, should take place, which is there. Why, you know, it is there that it is only happening in tier one cities. Why not tier two, tier three cities and tier two, tier three colleges, which is there why the college placement drive should not happen till every student find work. So we are asking these questions and we are deliberating upon it with single-minded focus that yes, every student in our country is able to find work. Her student Banega Atman Hirbar is our uh, uh, mission and we are going ahead with the mission statement. At end, the end of this webinar, the questions we are going to take a lot of ask you a few questions, you know, and where we are going to trigger out that do you want college placement drive to happen in your college? 
do you want to do that if uh, the answer is yes we are you are the right place if you want to find work if the answer is yes we are the right place to be there that's the focus that's the way we are going to give a giving a little brief a brief about jivitam again we have right now around 1.5 crore work seekers on our platform and we are growing big time we are partnering with national career services we are partnering with various state governments we are partnering with uh, international organizations we are having around top 100 clients as our uh, as our partners we are going to every nook and corner corner of the country we are doing lot in this present crisis to help people find livelihood so i'm again a warm welcome to everyone ye i hope you find this webinar as always interesting if you find it interesting tell it to your friends tell it to your colleges make be atmanirbhar thank you over to you kg over to you thanks a lot punish thanks a lot that's quite uh, passionate speech about the challenge faced by the country today and before we launch into our webinar a short video for all our viewers thank you स्कूल की लाइन में लगे एक आंख बंद किए इधर उधर ताकते इसका मतलब शायद मालूम ही नहीं था कॉलेज की भीड़ में दोस्तों के साथ ठाके लगाते भी कामयाबी पानी तो थी मगर हम होंगे कामयाब ये सोचने की ना जरूरत थी ना मौका माँ की नसीहतें और पिता के सहारे के बीच हम होंगे कामयाब के मायने समझना थोड़ा मुश्किल था हम होंगे कामयाब का असली मतलब तो तब समझ आया जब जिंदगी ने हाथ छुड़ा कर कहा ये तुम्हारी लड़ाई है सिर्फ तुम्हारी लड़ो गिरो उठो फिर लड़ो फिर गिरो फिर उठो अगर उठ सको लड़ने ने गिरने ने और गिरकर उठने ने हिम्मत तो जगाई ही साथ ही जगाया यकीन और इस यकीन को हकीकत बनाने में आपके साथ है जीवतम कर भारत को कामयाब बनाते हैं सरकार की सहायता रोजगार के साथ जोड़ करके नई इकाइयों के लिए सरकार अब योजना बनाए देश में रोजगार के अवसर बढ़े उस पर हम बल देना चाहते हैं होंगे कामयाब well as we move and understand the challenges faced by us during this covid times uh, let us just tell you about the number of jobs that are currently available on the jivitam platform and that's important for us to know we have like about 30437 jobs available and it is for anyone on this webinar any student in the final year who really wants to look out for roles there are jobs available and we will tell you how to connect with us how to get onto the platform and get these jobs but in the meantime let me share two life stories of two young men from the hinterland of india a person called manoj who comes from a district called chikbalapur in karnataka and this gentleman he graduated in commerce in 2013 and then went on to do his marketing mba in 2015 now he started farming and he thought he can help his parents earn his livelihood by farming and they would go to cucumber tomatoes and potatoes but he realized that it wasn't turning out to be profitable for him he what he did next was while browsing the internet he chanced upon the jivitam site and registered himself in jan 2020 just before the pandemic he got the job as associate at byjus in bangalore at a monthly salary of 22000 now his wife has registered on jivitam and is confident of getting a livelihood too so it is not about who or where the job is there are livelihood options available and it is for us to connect you to those livelihood opportunities so that you get one moving from manoj let's move to the next small short story very strangely also from the same district of chikbalapur 
and strangely at the same company byju this man got it in november 2019 srikant <coughs> among the two sons of his father who is a real estate agent he actually finished his commerce graduation joined tata sky for 6 months and worked for 2 years as an application support person for wipro on a contractual basis he had also applied uh, he had actually registered himself on the jivitam portal and got a call in november 2019 to join byju's he is extremely happy because he lives in a small town called gauri bidru about 80 kilometers from bangalore he travels up and down daily by bus yet he is extremely happy because he has the opportunity to stay with his parents has got a job of his choice earns a livelihood and no longer does he use his father as an atm he is independent and he is he and manoj are the two examples today of her student banega atmanirbhar they have become independent they earn their livelihood on their own merits and today in fact last morning shrikant's brother rajesh called up the jivitam jobs number please note down this number we'll share this number again at the end of the program the number is in 20 languages he registered himself and now he is confident he will get his next search for livelihood ending by through jivitam so as i end these stories i hand it over to our esteemed partner mr sanjeev who's the editor of asian news network and he will introduce us to his speakers and take us into the webinar over to you sanjeev thank you thank you kg uh, today we are really fortunate <coughs> sorry to have uh, an august panel of uh, esteemed speakers uh, i would like to start introducing with mr ashok kumar who is the joint director of employment national institute of career services nics Uh, which is also our uh, uh, government partner for the webinar series uh, mr ashok kumar started his career as a mathematics lecturer at hyderabad he has 26 years of experience with the government of india and has worked with the ministry of statistics and program implementation for 6 years and with ministry of home affairs for 2 years and also uh, with ministry of labor Empl employment he has been for the last 2 years now since 2002 till date he is working as joint director employment in nics and uh, uh, a little bit something about him uh, he has developed career literature in the form of booklets pamphlets motivational posters on various occupations he has attended many various international training programs organized by ilo and also as a resource person he has delivered lectures in various national and international uh, forums and he has also been the, been the part of training programs of institutes like iift and crt so now we have uh, another great personality from the academia mr uh, dr ravi chandran he is the dean at jamia hamdard jamia hamdard ento d manila university is of south delhi in dr ravi chandran is a leading management professional uh, with a uh, distinguished academic and research career he obtained his mps from iips uh, mumbai and phd from tata institute of social sciences mumbai he has been awarded for a fellowship and honors by various prestigious associations councils such as science and engineering research council 1996 the population council south asian network of economic research institute for carrying out outstanding research activities conferred with asia fellow award under the royal patronage of hrh princess maha chakri sri thoran thailand in 2008-9 through asian scholarship foundation for his outstanding contribution in the field of public health his knowledge contribution has been acknowledged in terms of uh, publication of books by sanii the population council the icssr the world health organization united nations development program and ifes usaid 
he has also seen he has also been conducting management development programs for professionals in world health organization usa united nations development program common field uh, commonwealth secretariat and national and international corporate organizations today we have with us ms gitanjali alam shah she is the co-founder of incanada.me Gitanjali is the mother of two and a self-made successful entrepreneur. She has been a pioneer in travel and mice industry for the last 25 years. Driven by her passion towards transforming lives and aligning education with jobs, she founded incanada.me. A woman who broke all the barriers started Universal Journeys in 1996. She overcame all odds and grew the company by 200% during 2008 recession a great feat congratulations she graduated with the honors president management degree from harvard mm. university in boston ma ma in 2018 she even attained guidance from world renowned business gurus like jim collins in colorado driven by her deepest quest and passion for wellness She co-founded Voyage for Wellness with the mission to help individuals reach their maximum potential in 2019. In Canada, dot me was founded in 2020 to bridge the gap between investment in education and attaining the jobs. So once again, I welcome you all to the webinar. Thank you so much for coming to the webinar. Uh, over to uh, you, uh, KG. So, thanks, Sanjeev. Thanks for introducing our great speakers, and we hope to have a very exciting and interactive session. So, Dr. Bhavi Chandran, I think I hand it over to you to take us through the journey of our academic admission and head, our administrative head, and help us understand how do universities actually look at campus placements, and how do you think our youth are going to benefit from the things that you do in your university? Okay, good evening, everyone. Thank you uh, for inviting me. I congratulate the organizer on behalf of Jami Ahmed for uh, having such a guided tour to the students to come up with their own career junction. When I look at the the placement drive as an institution, as a university. i stated we come to the point we lack as a universities or educational institutions today we focus on grading the students providing the marks but we fail to deliver them in terms of skill verticals i take you to different stories the story one which i have my personal experience last year i was traveling for uh, wildlife safari when i was traveling for a wildlife safari to particularly south to spot the tiger we were about 20 jeeps were arranged so one of the jeeps i was part of to that i was part of that particular jeep every jeep had a one or other a naturalist who guide the entire tourist to find out the wildlife experiences so where i mean like after traveling for 10 15 kilometers we found that the naturalist was telling it stop here only but those who were with the other jeeps they were every day rushing to other spots okay let's go we are not able to find here after traveling 10 15 kilometers they suggested okay let's go other but my jeep the naturalist and he said no i will stay here only he said after 5 minutes he said take a left turn and travel for another 10 to 20 feet then stop over there when we stopped we found it he immediately started to scream no stop the vehicle here only the driver followed very disciplined way he stopped there then he said 
within five to 10 minutes, we'll be locating a wildlife, that leopard. Then I was asking, how did you come to know? What instinct we made you to find out? Then he said, I'm a naturalist. He did not say, what does it mean? I did not even understood. I'm a traveler. Then after five to six minutes, we find a leopard. Then after two minutes, he said, immediately take right and go for another 500 feet. We found another black cat and uh, moving much faster than like about 80 kilometers faster. Then he said, okay, let's move on to the other spot. Then we traveled another inside 20 kilometers. Then we find the tigers with the cubs coming away. The naturalist instinct that kept on saying it. Then I kept on asking, how did you know this? Then why are you finding it? Why and when the uh, animals are moving and what time is coming out? He told me the langur is now sitting on the top of the tree making a noise about movement of the hunting animals, the particularly the tiger, that is uh, wild animals, which is hunting them for their food. So at the end of the day, we all came together for a gathering for a dinner. We accept as nobody located any other animals on the entire day. Out of 20 jeeps, only we could spot out the, all the animals. I mean, the journey was fulfilled. So what I'm trying to say, the universities are educational institutions today, focusing only on the knowledge. The knowledge is supposed to be like a kind of guided tool, but they do not have any mechanism to skill oriented because one naturalist who could make that day, the amount of investment which we made as a family to staying for two, three days in the wildlife area and to just spot the animal in a space to face. So what I'm trying to say here, universities fail to impact or education institute fail to impact the required skill that industry is looking for. Here, I'm trying to make three components. The component one is a communication. The where we need to focus so that students would be able to get their placement or livelihood opportunities in their life. One is the conceptualization. The second is problem solving. Third, attitude. These three components of the communications entirely missing in our educational curriculum. But still we need to wait to get national educational policy to be fulfilled in, by 2022. So we need to wait for such a long to get ambition to be filled. Second one, the skill vertical. The skill vertical, I mean, universities lacks our educational institution in largely, particularly the technical and professional institution like us, lack in industry collaborations. They fail to get linked with the industries. There is no gap. I mean, there is a larger gap, if I say, the corporate, what experts, what we deliver. And again, I'm skill, I'm dividing into three components. One is the collaborative skill lacking within the institutions. Second, leadership role is not there because when you became a professor, you gain a title as a like, you know, you know everything. So that means you lack a leadership skill and accept the adaptability is not there. Then risk management. I preach student to take risk in their life in terms of business or in terms of career or in terms of jobs but I fail to practice, you know. So as a university or educational institutions, we teach, but we don't practice. That again, enlarge the gap between the industry and the institutions. The third, as I said, as a Jeep, we gain the knowledge, but we fail to motivate the students or taking initiatives or develop the skills on the negotiations. So that means as a institutions, we need to thrive towards the knowledge building. Okay, that is the basic foundation, the fundamental issues. But we may be fulfilling that. But rest of the two issues, that is skill vector and the communication that's supposed to be going with the students. There, we miserably fail the students and not only fail the students, we fail them in their life. Because of that, what happens? 
only 23% of the technical professional education institutions particularly the students who study in these uh, institutions only eligible to get a job livelihood the rest no even someone who has capable of gaining some more knowledge in terms of skilling or adding the skills another 20% added overall only 43% of the students are employable the rest are unemployable i'm not saying that they are part of the unemployment rate no they do not have adequate skills to be employed so the 57% of the students who put onus on the institutions okay there people like you required to build the skill and bridge the gap okay this is one side of the story now now let me come back to the another story tell me build it today government is talking about skill skill india make in india skill vectors so many programs are there but the corporates are not coming forward to skill the students whom they wanted to hire but they do not support the student in terms of learning or skilling or develop the skills the commercialization is stopping them i just put a story of another one there are two guys who venture into the wildlife to find out the lion they equipped well like they carried uh, all kind of equipments to safeguard themselves they carried necessary equipments to be travel in the uh, jungle they travel about 50 kilometers inside they found that okay, they didn't find any wildlife over there so they started to get down from the vehicle then they started to walk say half a kilometer without any weapon in their pockets or in the hands after half a kilometer they find they find a the lion is standing in front of them they do not know what to do because yeah, they do not know how to handle the lion they wanted to venture out to see the wildlife journeys but they failed okay they had a skill in terms of moving with the equipments in terms of knowledge but the knowledge is very poor so they do not know that if lion attacks what will happen to them they they cannot run if the moment they run the life will be at miserable because they lose a life now they are already half a kilometer inside with the face to face with the lion now they don't know they do not have anything so nothing they know so that means today we talk about so many schemes and government schemes and programs but nothing is reaching to the institutions now how you equip the students and corporates are not coming forward to support those missions corporates are not coming forward so that means if you put students with the experience of knowledge and put them in the jungle and tell them to find out your way it will be a loss to the life that means we will not be able to achieve what we are supposed to be aspiring to be as one of the developing countries or developed world coming next 50 years down the line so i'll just look at this story what i'm finding out we are aspiring to be a 5 trillion dollars economy in next 5 year the 2025 are we equipped enough are we able to handle the uh, are we able to handle the required financing mechanisms to support the student to develop the skills no why the corporates are coming forward because the reason is i link to the another story that could be the last one when i was graduating it my teacher told me if you want to get a job in the government setup uh, you need to be skilled enough to make a loss of 50000 rupees per month to get a government job that means you have to have enough skill to can make a loss in the industry but if you have to get a job in the private you should have a required competency to make a 5 lakh rupees worth of revenue every month then only you will get a private job the story is in front of you what does it mean 
all the government run industries are now running at the loss say example air india bsnl you can see them they are not able to make a profit because every employees are capable of making a loss to the industry or where they are sitting on the bread and butter but if you go to say reliance the same bsnl related to communication also they also developed just recently now they are a million dollar making company now within short duration because if you want to get a job in the private sector you need to be skilled enough you need to be skill oriented vertical that feed you to venture out to your life so that's where atma nirbhar concept comes in if you feel that you wanted to be atma nirbhar part of the scheme that means every student every one of you to soul searching up yourself why i should look for a job why i can provide a job unless until you look yourself as a atma nirbhar be an entrepreneur to find a job for others not finding a job for yourself unless until you look yourself we will not be able to achieve the 5 trillion economy in next 5 years we are the future of this country we have to drive we have to take the lead we will be with you people like munish chawla people like kg mohan or people like government uh, support like ms ashok kumar or ms geetanjali everybody will be there with you but unless until you don't find yourself towards what you look for yourself a be a social entrepreneur try to achieve what you look for and we wish you all the best in your career and not only that we will be with you for what the step what are the step you make in your life thank you take care thank you dr chandan i think from the helicopter view of the head of university the kind of example that you have quoted i think students will completely relate i think the story that moves from the stories of your trip which actually talks about how a person needs to get skilled better or at the end of the day he needs to think of also providing jobs to others and from that kind of a environment let's move mr ashok kumar mr ashok kumar i think welcome back again i think the students of this country need to listen to you you don't not only have stories you have a lot of information available in terms of data which you can share and talk to them about everybody is getting a job after coming out of an institution the question is how do you skill yourself what are the opportunities the government has yes you have told us many times there are so many free courses available which people should take it on a platter and utilize it please talk about it sir thank you sir uh, thank you very much uh this time definitely i'll uh, stick to my uh, time uh, <laughs> sure 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 thank you very much so um, I, uh, being a, a person from uh, representing government of india organization so just i wanted to convey whatever facilities are available to the job seekers in what kind of uh, information is being provided by government of india for the benefit of job seekers and employed youth just i am going to share within 10 minutes right actually this covid 19 has created unprecedented situation all over the world right uh, so we are living in a very typical and uh, uh, i mean uh, typical times and era uh, which is uh, so uncertain unforeseen and unknown to everyone of us so uh, and this covid has impacted three e's what are those three e's education economy and employment so these three all over the world globally all these three is uh, really affected a, a lot so if you talk about education i mean students are not attending any colleges or education institutions they are confined to their houses so i mean their i mean uh, movement is totally restricted right and they are totally in a confused state so as a result majority of students developed uh, mental health issues also so uh, i mean uh, 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 be because of that uh, majority of psychologists and counselors also started online counseling services and all other things right and at this particular stage uh, majority of students 
they need support support from i mean uh, various people so what the psychologists what they are suggesting to these students to come out of this kind of trauma situation uh, they have to make themselves busy they have to uh, i mean uh, be in touch with uh, uh, the people like uh, uh, i mean uh, munish ji mohan sir uh, and geetanjali ma'am and uh, uh, ravi chandran sir so they have to be in touch with experts and efficient people uh so in that way they can uh, make themselves busy and they be, uh, try to be in touch with people and also uh, i mean they have to schedule their uh, uh, design their schedule and the structure their day in that way they can come out of this now the point is how they make themselves busy right so uh, first of all any job seeker or any student what they expect any i mean uh, uh, services from this kind of government organizations or uh, portals or uh, whatever it may be so they expect uh, see first of all they have to register with any uh, recognized government uh, uh, system right uh, registration then vocational guidance services they need vocational guidance because they don't know n number of occupations are there n number of uh, opportunities are there so uh, where to go how to go so they need vocational guidance then they need career counseling services also and also as and when it is required they have to go to self assessment tests also because some students they don't know uh, i mean uh, their about their personality about their interests about their attitudes aptitudes and all other things so they don't know how to choose a career as per their situation so in that case they have to go for self assessments and all other things then they have to go for um, they, they should know what kind of self employment and entrepreneurship related information is available in the market similarly skill development programs and finally uh, recruitment right job fairs job drives etc so all these kind of facilities they uh, all these kind of information they expect from any government of in, uh, government of organizations public employment system first of all right so keeping in view these kind of uh, uh, requirements of students job seekers and employed youth government of india of course way back in 1940s only national employment service started in india uh, for uh, in to start with for defense people only after second world war for the benefit of defense people only employment services came into existence in india thereafter these employment services are going on but uh, i mean as per the market requirement see demand and supply see what exactly the requirement of industry what exactly the available manpower in the Uh, uh job seekers available in the market so lot of mismatch is there right so lot of communication gap is also there between so many uh, stakeholders like job seekers employers what kind of job seekers are available in the market employers they don't have clear picture what kind of employers and what kind of jobs they are offering in the market students are not clear with all those things right so skill providers so what is the exactly the exact mismatch between availability and requirement Uh, uh, as far as skills are concerned, even uh, skill providers are also not aware of that. If all these persons they aware, I mean, uh, about all these things, if proper communication is there between our students, job seekers, career provider, uh, skill providers, training providers, placement agencies, definitely, uh, I mean, all these uh, stakeholders they can provide effective and efficient services to the job seekers, unemployed. So, uh, in that way only. Uh, this national employment service recently in the year 2015 uh, launched this national career service portal uh, national career service project so as a project i mean uh, two types of services are there online services offline services so we uh, we have been providing this online services through national career service portal and offline services through uh, a network of employment exchanges and modal career centers we have around 980 plus employment exchanges are there all over india and we have around 200 modal career centers are there so same kind whatever uh, i have mentioned vocational guidance career counseling etc etc all these kind of services as per the requirement of job seeker all these services are available on our ncs portal as well as these services are being provided at ground level on uh, I mean, through our employment exchanges and modal career centers right so Uh, i mean particularly uh, just i, I mean uh, request, request all job seekers and students to uh, register with our ncs portal really it is very much helpful for students right uh, because uh, i mean what kind of facilities are there for students in our ncs portal as a job seeker 
uh, he or she can register with our NCS portal as a job seeker. So at the same time, there is a provision in our NCS portal for employers to register with our NCS portal, right? So uh, I mean, it is a common platform for employers, job seekers, and career counselors. Career, career counselors, professional career counselors also they can register with our NCS portal and placement agencies just like Jivitam. Uh, Jivitam also, uh, I mean, uh, 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 I mean, Jivitam has MOU with our ministry and they are registered uh, registered with our NCS portal. Right, placement agencies. Uh, I mean, uh, then government departments. Uh, so they are all stakeholders. So all these persons they can come together at one particular platform that is National Career Service platform. So what kind of facilities are available in our national career service platform first of all when we come out of colleges and universities uh, i mean thousands of occupations are available in the market thousands so uh, i mean it is very difficult to uh, understand what kind of occupations are there so to give clear picture about various occupations of different sectors in our ncs portal more than 3000 uh, job roles are of occupations information available under 52 sectors so this is really this information is really very much useful for job seekers and unemployed youth. Uh, similarly we have uh, um, uh, uh, time to time our portal uh, is taking so many initiatives as per the requirement as per the changes in the labor market right recently uh, because of this lockdown so many changes have taken place in the labor market right so as per the requirement of labor market uh, we have shifted our focus from physical job fits because one of the requirement for job seekers is placements, right? So maybe eighth class pass out, or tenth class or twelfth class or graduate or postgraduate. So ultimately they are looking for placement. So uh, before lockdown, we used to conduct campus placements, campus job fits, mega job fits, normal job fits, job drives and all. So after lockdown, we have started organizing digital job fits, right? From April to till date, we have conducted more than 250 online job fits. Right, uh, Jivitam also participated in our job fairs. Uh, so they have provided so many employers. So effectively, we have conducted so many digital job fairs. More than 3,000 students in this particular situation, I mean, got placement, right, in various uh, uh, organizations, institutions. So in that way, students they can participate uh, if they register with our NCS portal. So automatically, they'll get uh, intimation related to job fairs, etc. So SMSs. So they can uh, attend interviews online itself and they can, uh, because uh, in the pandemic situation, it is not possible for employers to, uh, I mean, face-to-face -face contact job seekers also. For that, we have created one video profile uh, uh, provision also. The candidates, job seekers, those who are registered with our NCS portal, they can also create uh, three different type of videos, uh, like about myself, about my skills, and about my, about my interest area. So they can create those videos and they can upload those videos and portal so that employers, whenever they notify their vacancies with the help of those videos, they can understand the quality of candidate and they can shortlist candidates as per their requirements. So that facility is there. And at the same time, uh, because nowadays, uh, soft skills are very, very important. If you see in any corporate sector, in any industry, if uh, anyone is uh, selecting candidates based on their technical skills and uh, experts, uh, specialized skills, but they may fire the candidate within, within no time if their soft skills are not up to the mark. So soft skills are very, very important as far as I mean, employment is concerned, right? So uh, keeping that in view, uh, our uh, NCS portal recently uh, introduced career skill uh, programs in collaboration with the TCS ION. So, uh, I mean, uh, nine different modules are there uh, like uh, corporate etiquettes, telephone etiquettes, right? Uh, then uh, how to face corporate interviews, how to participate in group discussions. So all these kind of uh, uh, soft skills related uh, modules are there, nine modules are there. So your job seekers is self-paced um, I mean, uh, training pro pro program. So uh, there is no charge. If uh, a job seeker is registered with our M uh, NCS portal, for them it is totally free of cost without paying single pi, they can go for this, uh, uh, soft skills training program and they can uh, 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 get certificate also after complete successful completion of uh, nine modules they can get a certificate also which is very much useful for their uh, uh, further employment and all right uh, so in this way we are providing career skill uh, for programs also now as per national sample survey organizations uh, uh, report 2011 12 
52% of our workforce, around 47 point something uh, million workforce is available in India, 52% workforce are into self-employment. So for the benefit of self-employment, I mean, people those who are interested in self-employment and entrepreneurship, so we have provided a lot of information, right? Entrepreneurship programs, special entrepreneur schemes available in India, entrepreneurship uh, institutions which are providing various inputs related to entrepreneurship. So information about all these things, links of different ministries also available on our NCS portal. So students and job seekers, they can avail, they can use these portal, I mean, links, right? Uh, so in right, this, uh, similarly, skill development programs, detailed information is also available. Uh, as I discussed, I mean, in the pandemic situation, students are not able to attend any education institutions. So they can attend courses through online programs. So in this way, all these facilities are there. And That's finally, right. if you want any employment, you That's participate right. in our job drives and job fairs and get the opportunity to uh, I mean, uh, meet employers and uh, uh, I mean, uh, explore the possibility of getting proper employment in uh, various organizations. So that's all from my side. So try to avail all facilities of Government of India portal. So thank you very much. Thank, thanks a lot, Mr. Kumar. I think uh, two big takeaways, nine different kinds of courses. Just register yourself at the NCS portal. And it's absolutely free. And soft skills becomes the most critical factor, how to get into a job, preparing for job interviews. As people wait for their livelihood, I think they need to get skills better for the same opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you very much again. Thank you, what sir. You I, hope, I, think, uh, I hope I have not taken much time this time. <laughs> no, Thank no, you, sir. But you have to answer a few questions. Some of your points have questions being raised. We'll come to that at the end of Gitanjali's uh, presentation. Gitanjali, over to you now. You have a completely different take. <laughs> and when I say completely different take, it is both a verb and a noun. When I say that, you want to take people to different country for their own higher studies. So over to you. Let's see what you can talk and help our students. Thank you so much, uh, KG. Um, thank you, Dr. Ravi Chandran. Thank you, Ashok Ji. Uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, knowing all the initiatives taken by our government. Uh, but I will carry forward uh, what uh, Dr. Ravi Chandran was mentioning, uh, this misalignment. Uh, that's uh, And let me tell you this misalignment between employers seeking employees and job seekers and our students seeking jobs. This misalignment is a worldwide problem. So I'd like to also reassure you, it's not just an India problem, it's also a worldwide problem. Worldwide, this is being addressed. How is it that we can bridge that gap? And this is where uh, I would say that I come in uh, very inspired by Munish, who's here on the webinar today. I used to spend a lot of time with Munish in January when we were working on our wellness program. And I used to hear Munish talk about this all the time, livelihood, livelihood, education. But what, what is the meaning of this degree? What education? If you cannot guarantee, and I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, guarantee. Can you get a guarantee on a consequence of the three years, four years spent studying or gaining that degree? Is there a guarantee? And it kind of got into my head that there is something going wrong over here. We have students, we have aspiring students who don't have jobs. And there we have large corporates who don't have skilled, skilled employees. I use this word very carefully. This is where we came in when I put together this program. So ladies and gentlemen, it's a great, great, super great opportunity for all of you. It's one of its kind program that we managed to put together with one government, government supported, 100% government supported college based in Quebec, in Canada. And this college, we worked on exactly what Dr. Ravi Chandran is talking about, skill set enhancement back alignment with real corporate, real jobs. Is there a need for those skills that we are teaching? Exactly, yes. We have launched four programs. These programs are plastic engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, software developer, and office automation. All these four programs, ladies and gentlemen, are back aligned to real need to real corporates, real companies who are waiting for people to qualify and take them a job, give them a job. The college themselves 
promises them 100% guarantee. And I repeat again, it's a government college. It's not a private college who's making fake promises to you. It's a government college who is guaranteeing you 100% jobs. And here comes the most beautiful part of what we put together. In Quebec, when you are there and you have studied French, you've studied a skill set enhancement program. These are accelerated programs. Why are they accelerated? How many of you have three more years to spare to invest again into studying with no guarantee of a job? Very little time, COVID-19 has accelerated the situation for everybody. We need, we need outcomes fast. There is only that much time when we want to be like Munish says, Atmanirbhar. We want to get Atmanirbhar very, very fast. So we have plugged all this together. We've aligned industry to college, to state level, where we are giving you uh, six months of French, followed by 10 to 16 months of accelerated skill set enhancement, followed by job placement within the campus. They will assure that you get the job. And the most beautiful part is within three months of getting a job in Quebec, you are a priority for Quebec government to process your application for permanent residency. You become, you can apply for PR and you get your PR within two years of being over there. That's how beautiful this scheme is. And that's what we bring to you because we understand today what you need. You need jobs. But please also pay a lot of attention to what our previous two speakers are repetitively talking about. You need to first enhance skill set. And what skill set? Skill set, not what the, I'm sorry, but not what the college thinks is important, but what the corporate needs. So that day one that you join the corporate, that you're day one on your job, you are ready to go. So that's what I had to say. Uh, what are the next uh, steps I can- You want to show the next steps? What do you, Akshay, Akshay can tell us. Akshay, can you the screen? Yes. So what is it that you get? That's the government agency. Uh, that's the government college, Sijeb D. Thetford. It is in Quebec, in Canada. You get to learn language. And learning French is not only useful in Canada. Believe me, it's also useful in India or in France. The new upcoming country for this is Africa. Lots of jobs available. Quebec as a, as a state is the most highest paying state in Canada. Uh, you have wider, less competitive market because already most markets are saturated within Canada, as you've noticed in India also. You're doing skill-oriented diploma programs, short duration, 16, 22 months. Get ready to pay back your parents for the money that you've taken from them. Attack real projects for companies. These are real companies where you're learning real skill sets work you are allowed to work in canada while you're studying the same companies who are looking at hire hiring you actually take you as interns so quite frankly even as a student you're already beginning to learn uh, salaries are higher in quebec i said because of uh, quebec region french is a lang as a language is necessary but french is what they are teaching you you do not need to know french uh, it's 100 percent job placement and average Student passed out of Sujeb Thetford and working in one of the corporates has been there for 20 years. That's how great it is. Permanent residency, three months after obtaining your job, you can apply. Priority under Arima scheme. So what are the next steps? How are, we started with 120 seats, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We've already, see, already more than 60 seats have filled up. You still have an opportunity. 60 seats are still uh, left. Uh, go ahead, quickly come on our website, www.incanada.me. Register yourself by paying a very marginal fee of 2,500. We do a free aptitude test for you. It's not as if everybody can go, we will do the aptitude test for you. You get a waiver of $100 on application fee. We have professional counselors to counsel you, take you through the program, help you through the process and uh, help you fill up your applications along with your visas. So get ready. What are you waiting for? Let's go for it. 
Gitanjali, I think after this webinar, I'm sure there will be plenty of them reaching out to you. And the flight, the next flight, which is going to go to India, is going from Delhi to Quebec directly, or from many of the cities in the country. Thank, thank, thanks a lot for uh, enlightening us on what are the ways to find uh, means to higher studies. The ultimate goal is being Atmanirbhar. The student has to keep constantly renting and finding ways and means. So as we uh, move to the next stage, let us uh, thanks for everybody for their own opinions and ideas. There are some questions that come up, which keeps uh, which has come up among the attendees. Uh, I would like a few of you to answer these questions. Uh, one important question that came up, I think Gitanjali or Dr. Radhakrishna Ramani can answer this. How to become a job creator rather than a job seeker? I would say uh, I myself have been an entrepreneur, I will say to everybody for 28 odd years, but you, I have uh, run successful companies. I will tell you, share something with all of you. I, I went to HBS, I went for Jim Collins. I keep upgrading my skills. My necessary thing to you, never mind how old you are, you're never too old, you're never too late. Keep upgrading your skill set, keep learning more. Never stop learning. The day you stop learning, finished. Whether you're in a job, whether you're an entrepreneur, understand the world is changing so fast. You need to run faster than the ecosystem. Uh, the question next for Dr. Ravi Chattar is that someone is asking us that is talent important or is skill important for getting a job? What's more important? It's like a, two sides of a coin. Because the skill, if we have, the talent would follow. If we have a talent, we can adopt the skill. Absolutely. I think that, that's very, very, very well put. Two sides of the same coin. Uh, from a French perspective, uh, Gita Jali, do you, you have answered this question. Are there job opportunities for French translators in this country? In our country also, there are many jobs, you'll be surprised, uh, where French language is required. And all over the world, you see, please don't restrict yourself. Today, the world is your landscape. Look at every place. You, any, anything that you're acquiring, you're acquiring the knowledge of French language. The world is your landscape. You can get high paying jobs because there are only that many people who speak French. Now that's interesting. I think it's, uh, I think at my age too, learning French will not be difficult. I can't be a translator. At least learning can be a starting point for sure. Learning uh, at any age is a must do, must do. Very true. Uh, Munish, let me put a surprise question to you. How yeah. to become financially educated? Okay, uh, so uh, I have to understand the question. What is the question is financially? How to become financially educated? Okay, financially educated. Atmanirbhar. Atmanirbhar. I think, you know, uh, one of the things, you know, which is not good in India, you know, among the students is of the concept of my papa, my ATM. Okay. I think they have to get out of that syndrome, you know, and they have to become Atma Nirbhar the way they, they enter their college. I became Atma Nirbhar in, when I was still in my class 11th. Okay. And I basically uh, funded my own trip to, along with my friends, to a hill station. And all along, you know, 11, 12 graduate, I was not taking a single penny from my parents. And I was working, you know, to earn my, you know, pocket money. I think that's something which has to be there, you know, because today in this crisis also, you know, while I see a lot of students, you know, who are right now coming from a economically back, you know, economically weak backgrounds, you know, under little stress, but for the students who are right now still, uh, you know, uh, who are from a good background, economic backgrounds, they are not having that much stress because their papa is their ATM still. So financially independence, you know, you can have it by working part-time. You know, there are a lot of part-time opportunities. I know the more retail, for example, we have a mandate. They are looking for part-time workers. Same way, 
you know apprenticeship internship you know uh, freelancing jobs you know today you are in a first year student second year third year students it does not matter you know that which phase of life you are you can become atmanirbhar at whatever phase you are so whoever asked this question thank you very much for asking this question this question is very close to my heart and i feel that every you know when we are doing this college placement drive that's a question which we are asking why not first year students why not second year students why not third year students you know to go for a work they should look for work because when they come out of the college they are much more ready for the real life the challenge i face in students is when they come out of the college they are still not ready for the real life so i want them to be ready for the real life and that's how to the step towards it to becoming financially independent which is atmanirbhar thank you thanks a lot munish uh, that was well said i think your personal life example is something that people should be inspired about because after working in a corporate career for many years to jump out and then say i am going to be independent as an entrepreneur is itself a great challenge in life and taking it is more important than just thinking about it so i i take this opportunity to first thank uh, dr ravichandran mr ashok kumar and gidanjali for keeping the audience completely engrossed i think people must have learned today that it is just not important to wait for livelihood the waiting period is as critical mr ashok kumar talked about the various kinds of programs available in the government in terms of skilling yourself even for job interviews it's not about skilling yourself only for livelihood you have to learn how to be presentable improve your social interaction skills social skills and soft skills uh mr which has been talked to us about how it's important to become enterprising in the head more than just being entitled in the head and gitanjali i think you have hit the nail on the head that as you wait for livelihood is it just waiting or do you want to have a clear path to the livelihood point between now and that day and you have shown them a path through your mechanism of going to quebec and getting a pr there a pr is guaranteed 99% job is guaranteed so why not take the plunge and move the direction so thank you very much it's been an exciting webinar and hope to see all students who have participated today and the kind of great interactive feedback you have given us will help us improve on our output for you next week hope to see you next kg and kg what you munish i to close kg i just wanted to you know you have been running a poll continuously which was very right. very enticing why don't you you know little share with the results with everyone you know because that i was very very getting uh, you know intrigued by the uh, poll which is there why don't you share the results with everyone i, I just i was I was just about to do that let me start with the first result of the first poll uh 71% of those attending today are looking for jobs almost 39% of attendees today say they do not have placement drives in their colleges and this is a perfect platform for that jeevitam is the platform to connect people in the hinterland of india with people giving livelihood in the times of metros or tier 1 and tier 2 cities so here we are for you we will come and help you out on that the third poll was about do they want to be a part do they want jeevitam to be a part of the digital placement drive is overwhelming yes 85% of them say yes we want to be we want jeevitam to take part help us in this participative college placement drive and the government of india is going to really partner with us to make it successful the fourth poll was priority in life 76% of the attendees are actually life looking for livelihood 15% want to go for higher studies and 9% say they want to be entrepreneurs the number 9 may look small but 9 is significant because 20 years back we asked a person you want to be an entrepreneur the answer would have been what do you mean by entrepreneur today 9% of people really want to be entrepreneurs they want to create jobs poll 5 91% of the people want to actually participate in this program called student banega atmanirbhar no longer my daddy or my mummy is my atm they want to be independent and they want to start now and the last poll is the clincher where 91% of them have said in fact it's gone to 93% now 93% say we want to attend the webinar again the next time so on 2nd october gandhi jayanti very important day in our lives from a historical perspective hope to see all of you back there as we start 
understanding the journey how to find a livelihood from people who have experience in their lives industry experts and masters in their jobs people like mr ashok kumar dr ravichandran and gitanjali over to you munish for the parting words you know i think the clincher as you rightly said was 92% of the people want to come back again okay a right. big round of applause for all the speakers over here dr ravi chandran you know uh gitanjali and mr ashok you know he came he is so supportive to us you know i think somewhere we are adding value you know all the poll which you did excellent poll and you know it basically re create what we are looking at i think this polls are very clear indicator to it my uh, one thing which i want to share with everyone you know one of the things which innovative things which we are trying you know is also beside this webinar going live on facebook on zoom we are also doing this webinar live on audio conference and as i am speaking i checked out there are around 800 students right now attending a uh, webinar through audio okay one of the things i think that's one of the differentiator which we are capping and every year you know every uh, webinar we have around 1000 plus students participating what we are expecting from students who are there who want to if they are happy and they want to take benefit i believe in the power of 10 10x send a message to 10 people and ensure in the next webinar which we are doing on 5th october between 5 to 6 pm let everyone come in we have the support of unstenching support of mr sanjeev you know who is the editor for asian news network he is a unsung hero with us you know who is quietly helping us motivating us taking us to the next level and you know spreading the message to the masses through his media platform asian community news network i will urge every student to look for this platform and take it to the next forward you know all the questions you know we have given the links anyone has any questions please send us we'll be more than happy to do it out and my heartfelt thanks to all the panelists over here mr kg you are always awesome you know the way you moderated the way you get everyone placed together is something to learn for thank you for being there and helping us moderate it and take it to the next level thank you very much sir thank you to all thank you to all thank, thank you. you thank you thank you so much thank you for thanks sir bye